Hi Descendants, Sloop Gaming here with another huge update for the first Descendant. Three new Descendants that were previously listed as coming soon on the TFD website are now available for preview. Players can now read ability and lore tabs for Esimo, Enzo, and Yujin. Let's take a look. Upon visiting the first Descendant website, simply go to Game Info, Character, and you'll see a list of Descendants. Starting with Esimo, the Explosives Master. And you can see Esimo now has a full overview story and exclusive equipment and ability tabs. Esimo's overview is a role of Burst DPS. A Burst DPS who handles explosives, attaches bombs to enemies, and detonates them at the right opportunity. Esimo's descendant attribute is Fire, with the passive skill of Adventitious Habit drops a bomb on the ground when the shield is completely depleted. Looking at SEMO's active skills, Time Bomb, it's a tech skill, launches a sticky bomb forward. The sticky bomb attaches to an enemy or terrain feature on contact. Blast, fusion skill, instantly detonates attached bomb. Bomb's damage increases with the number of attached bombs. Guided Landmine. Tech skill places a Guided Landmine at current location. Once placed, the Guided Landmine will fly to an enemy within its detection range and attach to it. And Archi Explosion. Fusion skill starts moving forward fast on collision with an enemy while charging, inflicts knockback. When the movement ends, deals damage to nearby enemies and removes buffs from them. After the skill ends, Esimo enters the Madness State. Enzo, the best quartermaster. Enzo's overview has a role listed as support. A support who uses supply drones, commands the battlefield by supplying ammo to allies while launching long range attacks with drones at the same time. Enzo's descendant attribute is non-attribute with a passive skill of shoot support. Grants fire support to allies within an area around Enzo, increasing their max ammo capacity. This efficiency of this effect increases marginally with the number of Enzos in the squad. Efficiency increases when Enzo disarms the security of the encrypted vault, and rewards increase when this happens. For Enzo's active skills, Start Supply, to singular skill, summons a bullet supplying device at the designated location. Supplies bullets to allies that approach the device. The bullet supplying device can be used once by each ally and disappears when everyone has used it or its duration ends. Explosive Drone Dimension Skill launches an explosive drone forward. The explosive drone explodes on contact with an enemy or a terrain object dealing damage. Enhanced Combat Suit Dimension Skill summons a shield recovery comms. When the shield recovery comms is first summoned, recovers Enzo's energy shield by a certain amount. Then continues to recover the energy shield through enhanced combat suit effect. Perfect support, singular skill. Summons a small supply ship to himself and his allies. The small supply ship periodically provides supply bullets and grants perfect support to allies. The small supply ship attacks enemies in front while it is active, and when the skill ends, it fires a missile forward that causes a big explosion at its destination. Yujin, the Gruff Medic. Yujin's overview shows a role of support featuring a healer support who uses his select drones to heal allies. He heals allies and grants them beneficial buffs after determining the distance between the allies and him. Yujin's descendant attribute is non-attribute. With the passive skill of stop overreacting significantly reduces the time to rescue allies. Targets rescued by Yujin increases to max HP for a certain period of time. Yujin's active skills, solidarity healing, a singular skill, summons a recovery drone that attaches to allies and heals them. Recovers targets and increases their attack through an accelerant effect upon dismissal. Restructure Serum. Fusion skill fires a Restructure Serum forward, decreasing defense and inflicting allergy. When attacking enemies with allergy, 
heals nearby allies and grants additional healing to allies who kill the enemy. Stimulant Spray, a singular skill, grants stimulation to allies. When stimulation is active, incoming damage is reduced and recovery is received when stimulation ends. Hyper Reactive Healing Ground, a fusion skill, heals self and allies, granting purification and immunity to remove and prevent debuffs. Additional recovery is based on the number of allies and enemies within range. Yujin is granted hyperactivity effect, increasing his attack and skill power. In the most recent Dev Talk unique personal strategy, creative director Ju Min Suk, apologies for the gross mispronunciation, and others on the Dev team provided insight on build crafting inside the First Ascendant. Among the featured descendants were our newest heroes of Esimo, Enzo, and Yujin. Let's take a look. The devs also featured builds for some of the existing community faves, such as Bunny and Viesa. Here's what they showcased. Overall, the skill reveals of the newest members to Albion's roster, as well as the information provided from the recent dev talk on build crafting, have the first descendant poised for a wide variety of playstyles. Which descendant are you playing first? Let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to join me on launch day, July 2nd, to earn your Twitch drops and some fun rewards. Just a few more sleeps, and we're back in Albion, baby. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are kindly appreciated, and subscribe for more content. Peace.